I remember walking into the AR one time and watching a trauma code happening kind of from the peripheral and I really enjoyed some of the things that they were doing there. You know, the excitement, the intensity, it looked like they were actually making a difference in saving someone's life. So uh, not too long after that's when I went into emergency medicine. I just want to be a well-rounded medical professional. Being a paramedic, you handle multiple different situations. You can handle mass casualty situations, motor vehicle accidents, all the way down to somebody calling for a nightmare. You just have to know how to handle the situation at that time. Being a paramedic, there's no two days that are ever the same. Um, you can start off your day with just the mo most routine of all calls, whether it's picking up someone to transport from a nursing home to a hospital, or you can start off with a gut-wrenching call where a family throws their baby into your arms is the only chance to save their life. So there's never just a typical day in the life of a paramedic. I think the thing that initially spurred me on, the initial attraction to it was the adrenaline, the excitement, the rush, and now I think probably more so it's the idea of actually making a difference in people's lives, actually touching someone, making a difference in their health and moving forward from there. Generally speaking, those that get into EMS should be a, a self-motivator, people that like to solve problems, people that um, are not afraid to have others look to them to help solve the problems. They should be a leader in a um, just generally a go-getter. Here at UAMS, they try to teach you every situation to handle and how to handle it properly. The program we have here at UMS is actually pretty advanced for the state of Arkansas. Uh, matter of fact, we just got through finishing up a cadaver lab where we actually got to do hands-on with cadavers, and I don't know that any other paramedic program in the state of Arkansas does that. But those are the kind of things that UMS takes forward that a lot of other schools, I mean, you get your ride time, you get your lecture time, but you don't actually get the hands-on practical nature that they offer here. This program is one of the only ones that I've ever heard of that that allows the paramedics to have in live innovations before they actually start their real career on the truck, which I think is amazing because it kind of breaks the ice of actually having to do that procedure right away. And to actually have experience doing it, you know, is really nice other than just being thrown into a truck and being like, okay, your first live innovation, here we go. The advice I'd have for someone starting off in this field now is, uh, strong science background, you know, pay attention in high school. If there's anything that I wish I had done more so than anything else is pay attention in high school and move forward straight from that point. Just any field in medicine, you need to get your feet wet. Anything around the hospital first, just to see what niche you like. Because what I didn't know when I first came in is there's so many jobs in the medical field, just different things. And you have to figure out what you like best. I, my advice is you have to get your feet wet. A lot of our folks, uh, are fire-based or hospital-based when they get out of here. And then we've also had some folks that do offshore work. Uh, we've got folks that do tactical EMS. We've got folks that do hazardous materials responses. We've got several of our graduates that are actually over in the Middle East and Europe doing care in different settings. So there's not just a one-size-fits-all approach. It's really where you find your interest and where you can find applicability to the skills that you bring to the workforce. The one big piece of advice for those getting into an EMS field is you really got to believe in lifelong learning because the medical field never rests on what was good knowledge yesterday. They're always updating based on current evidence, current best practice, and they're constantly changing, constantly evolving. So if you get into the field of EMS, it's really one where you've got to want to stay on top of changes to know what's coming down the pike.